Hello friends, welcome to Bureau of Contacts. This is a new ghost hunting game that came out in, in June, 20th of June, I believe. And it seems very different from the others because they say on the Steam page, we trained neural network to kill. So we can die in this one, or we can do that most ghost hunting games. Neural network control the ghost's behavior and tactics which is changing based on the actions and words players said to the ghost. So yeah, you have to watch what you say. Be careful, it sees you, it hears you, it talks, it has different temperaments, it understands the context of what you say and makes appropriate decisions based on this. There are no limits for talks with the ghost. So I think it's, I don't know if it's AI or what does it, but it's neural network. So it hears and understand the context of everything we say. So that would be interesting how that will work within, uh, you know, making videos and talking to you while playing. First of all, let's do the tutorial. Welcome to the Bureau of Contacts Training Ground. Here you will receive a short course on the basic working procedures of your direct duties. To pass between training rooms, check the requirements in your journal and open the Quests section. All control hints are available in the game menu. Also, there is a context hint in the lower right corner. To proceed further, simply open the door lock. The lock is located under the door handle, uh, like it usually is. <laughs> You'll meet it on the front door of any location. To open it, use the interaction button. To open the door itself, hold the interaction with the door and pull in the desired direction. Okay. Items. Your inventory holds up to four items at a time. You can switch between them with the mouse wheel and the number from 1 to 4. You can interact with items both while holding them in your hands and while they are lying in the world. Okay. Pick up. You have a flashlight. What the? <laughs> this is one hell of a flashlight. Okay, so as we are holding it in our... In our right hand, we have to press the right button to... What, what kind of flashlight is this? This is old, it looks like. Okay. Did we open or lock it now? I'm not sure. Uh, then I had to use the handle itself, right? Go this way. Huh? Did I miss something here? I had to interact with the handle itself, right? Have to use our right hand? No? To open the door itself, hold the interaction with the door and pull in the desired direction. Yeah, that's what I'm trying. Ah, okay. Not the hand though, just the door. I see, okay. So we are learning this together. It's a completely new ghost hunting game. What's this? I don't know, but we took it. Is it money? I think it's money, yeah? Maybe we can buy equipment and stuff, just like in uh, Demonologist and Phasmophobia. After entering the location, you should take care to turn on the lights. Light not only helps you navigate, but also helps you save your mental health. In order to turn on the lights, you need to turn on the electrical box first. To turn on the electrical box, you need fuses. 
or uh, maybe a fuses we are finding. <clears throat> you can find them in random places on the location. Furniture, furniture doors and shelves can be opened in the same way as doors. The number of fuses inserted is responsible for the number of lights that can be turned on at the same time. Okay, that's a little bit like demonologist where we can only light on so many lights before we are uh, we can't turn more lights on. To turn on the panel, hold and pull the lever in the desired direction. Once the panel is switched on, use the switches to turn on the lights. Guess this is the fuse box. How do we insert the fuses? Uh, I don't know. Oh, we are uh, going to do exorcism on these ghosts as well. Ah, okay, like this. How do we put them in then? Put in the fuse. These. A whole G to install, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. There was one. Oh, not this one. Cancel. How do I cancel it without throwing it now? I can't. Okay. If it. We have more. Now we only got those two. Okay. So now we should be able to turn on lights. Hey. Okay. Continue. Once in the location, you need to investigate and identify the type of ghost. To do this, look for clues with the help of tools. All clues consist of two parts, paranormality and evidence. Paranormality, an area with paranormal activity within which the evidence is contained. Signal strength and stability increases from the edges of the anomaly to the source. Eh? The evidence is located somewhere within the paranormal area found. Using tools you must find its location. Okay. In this room you search for EMF evidence using the EMF reader. Take the detector, turn it on, explore the location holding it in your hands until the EMF signal starts to increase. At the center of the paranormality, the signal level will reach its limit. But the center only gives you an understanding of the location and boundaries of the paranormality. Carefully study the paranormality area until the EMF reader begins to show you a rhythmic, dynamic EMF signal that repeats. Okay. It's on. Oh, here we go. Is that the rhythmic stuff it was talking about? I think so, yeah. Yeah, right here it's going rhythmic, yeah? Okay. Then what? So this is like, this is not a modern game it looks like, yeah? These, these are old equipment. This one's old. The EMF detector is old. That's pretty awesome. Yeah? Compare the pattern of this signal with those described in the journal. Open the journal and the investigation section and flip through the pages to the examples of EMF evidence. Compare the pattern to those described. Open the evidence and ghost type section in the journal and select the correct evidence from the list. By selecting a clue in the journal, 
you will automatically weed out all ineligible ghost types that cannot have that clue. Okay. Evidence. EMF. This is chaotic, right? I would say. Isn't this pretty chaotic? Yeah. I would say so. And then what? Okay. I guess that was it. Or what? Can I continue? Please? No? This one says heartbeat, but it wasn't like a heartbeat, right? Eh? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Is that why I can't continue? Because we haven't chosen a heartbeat, maybe? Yeah, it is. Is this like a heartbeat? I would say that it's chaotic. Well, okay, if you say so. <clears throat> oh, we have temperature reader. In this room, you'll be looking for the temperature evidence using the th thermometer. Take the, th take the thermometer in your hand. Explore the location holding it until you notice a noticeable change in temperature. Closer to the center of the paranormality, temperature drops, but never drops below zero or rises above 20 degrees Celsius, which distinguishes the paranormality from evidence. Once you have found the evidence point, compare the result with the examples described in the journal and highlight the found evidence in the current investigation section okay, it's dropping here to <coughs> 10 degrees Celsius okay I guess it's guess it's always on the carpet that we have to so 10 degrees temperature yeah, it's cooling, right? I would say. It's not fluctuating. It's not getting warmer. Is that correct? No? Okay. Oh. Here's getting really cold, and here's getting warmer. Does that mean that's fluctuations? I think so, yeah? Yep. Okay. We have a lantern. In this section, you'll be looking for ultraviolet evidence. Take the ultraviolet lamp, light it. In a small radius around the lamp will illuminate all the ultraviolet footprints. Pay attention to the floor. Your target is the ultraviolet footprints. Okay, it's not like handprints in like in demonologist. Follow them. They will lead you to the ultraviolet evidence. Examine it and compare it to the options in the journal. Yep. Okay. Let's find some footprints. Here we have something. Okay, so the footprint is going this way. So I guess this must be the the thing we are looking for. Oh, I don't know what's occult runes, what's esoteric and cryptographic. Is that esoteric or cryptographic? I don't know. 
I have no clue. It could be that, then it's a demon. Okay, it can't be this one, because there's nothing there. I guess this is cryptographic, yep. It's a demon that we are dealing with here. Oh. Alrighty then. But this is where we came in, so this must be the new way here. Hello? I have a book. <coughs> in this section you'll be looking for writing evidence using notebook. Take the notepad in your hand and use it to write in it. Write until you see a symbol that looks like an arrow. Once it appears, follow the indicated direction to reach the anomaly zone. In the center of the paranormal zone, the drawing will take the form of a circle with a cross. Now, to find the writing evidence, you need to study the anomaly zone within a range of several meters from its center. At the desired point, the cross will change to one of the writing evidences, which you can identify using the journal. Okay. Ah, then we have to to drop something, because we can only hold four items at a time. Let's take the book. Well, we have to find a uh, an arrow, yeah, something. Let's read that again. I didn't really understand it. <laughs> In this section you'll be looking for writing evidence use notebook. Take the notebook and your hand to write in it. Write until you see a symbol that looks like an arrow. Once it appears, follow the indicated direction to reach the anomaly zone. In the center of the paranormal zone, the drawing will take the form of a circle with a cross. Now to find writing evidence you need to study the anomaly zone within a range of several meters from the center. We are looking for an arrow. Does that look like an arrow to the left? I think so, yeah. Okay. Now points left again. I see, okay. That's a circle with a cross. And then we get this. Okay. I see. Are these symbols or forms? I think these are forms, yeah? No? Okay, symbols then. Alright. I don't know what forms is then. Once you've collected enough clues, you'll be left with either a few or one type of ghost. You need to choose one ghost as a conclusion. This completes the investigation phase. You can leave the mission and earn money for your investigation or you can proceed to exorcism. Don't forget to highlight the right ghost in the journal as the result of your investigation. So let's choose the demon. Description. A very fast and dangerous ghost. Not every man can escape. But luckily he can see very well. Okay, we don't know its strengths, we don't know its weaknesses. Prayer, by the power of the divine, I cast out the spirit of first name and surname. Evidence, temperature fluctuations, writing, symbols, UV, cryptographic runes, EMF, blah, 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 blah. All right, then. Uh, 
Can I venture around? No? Look like here it's forms. But it can't be, right? Ah, it's because we still have the chaotic EMF here. Damn it. It's a Gorio. Stops walking when you look at him. But when his patience runs out, he starts running after you. Okay. And we can banish the presence from this realm. No? Still wasn't a Gorio? Yeah. I guess this was er esoteric runes then. Obake. Can I venture around now? No? What? Wasn't this all correct? Yeah. So we should be able to to continue now, right? I would say. What have we done wrong? I don't know. This completes the investigation. You can leave the mission or money for investigation or you can proceed to exorcism. How do I proceed to the exorcism? Maybe here? Select the right ghost type in the journal. I have. I've done exactly that. Maybe what says there is not the... Uh... I thought that was chaotic, right? Temperature were both heating and cooling, that would be... Fluctuations. Let's try just every ghost here. <laughs> Pretty sure it is a uh, uh, <coughs> this Obaki, but. No matter, I'm just seeing if, no matter which ghost I choose, if I can't continue. No. Oh no, are we, are we experiencing a bug? Hopefully not. This is an early access game. I forgot to say that, I think. But this has different ghosts than in uh, Demonologist, I think, because I don't think we have the Mimic in Demonologist and the Phantom. I'm not sure if we have the Revenant either. Okay. 
So I guess we were right. It is the Obake. No, it was forms, right? Let's see how we can select the right ghost. Yeah, I've done that many times. What? Come on, man. Do we then have to exercise it? To carry out the ritual, extreme action must perform for success of which six conditions must be met. Ghost paranormal person must will have to communicate with him with the help of the spirit box. Yeah, we need to to get on. This is just going back, that's not... I don't get it. You have chosen the right ghost, but please... Let me continue. Oh no. If we exit now, do we have to start over with this? Yeah, damn it. Okay, let's just go play it and we'll figure it out from there. Private session, yips. Here we are in the game. This is special training room for new staff. Don't forget to turn on the electrical panel. The door lock is located under the door handle. Yeah, we know that. Hello, so is this our office? <laughs> Can we play this? I don't know, maybe. Coming soon, house on the hill. So where's the radio, where's this music coming from? Okay. Please place it there. Here's the radio. Can I turn it off? No? Okay, let's see. Team equipment summary. This is what we have in our storage. Yeah, nothing. So this is much like the Phasmophobia and Demonologist. We have $600. We could buy something. What? What's the price of this stuff? Ah, here's the shop. Okay, it's not so expensive, you know. Suitcase? What's the suitcase for? An ordinary suitcase can be used as an effective means of transporting large quantities of items. Okay. I don't know if we need anything of this right now. Because we are alone. Friend list. I have a friend who have this game. Also, <coughs> maybe we can play this together. House on the hill. Yes, now I've chosen it. Start. Let's go check it out. I love that this is not like modern, like demonologist and phasmophobia. Okay. Do we already have the equipment? No. Yeah, the lamp. EMF. Always need this one. Do need the lamp right away? Maybe. Thermometer. Didn't we have a spirit box as well? I'm pretty sure it said spirit box on uh, on our equipment list. Right? 
didn't it? Okay, that's our monitor for our health. Can we use the radio for anything? I'm not sure. Okay. So we can only hold... Can I hold something in my... In my left hand? So when I use stuff, I cannot use my flashlight. Okay, let's just get in there. And hopefully... We can find that uh, fuse box straight away. I know this teddy bear. This is the same one <coughs> that we have in File Destined, th that game we are playing on, our, on my channel. It's exactly the same teddy bear. Okay, we need to find the fuse box first, so we can turn on lights. I suppose. Hello? Is it in here? No? It's a closet. Okay. But does this old house even have electricity? Yeah, it does. It's gonna be a big ass house, right? Oh shit, that scared, scared me. <laughs> Will, would the fuse box be outside? I don't know. Hello? Oh, oh yeah, we also need the fuses. But we can't because we have no storage space. This is gonna be a problem. Do we leave some stuff here? <laughs> Just to get to the use box. Could this be used as light? The light source? I don't know. What? What? We already have some evidence here. So what kind of a symbol is that? Esoteric, occult, or cryptographic? I don't know. I have to look that up. What those are. I don't know if it says anything here. Suppose not. Enter the room. Oh, this is for the exorcism. Hello? So I don't know what kind of symbol that is. I have no clue. So I guess this means that the ghost must be in this room, right? Gone on. Is the ghost trying to kill us? Hello? Are we good to know? EMF readings in here. I don't know. If all the ghosts leave EMF. Any temperature fluctuations? It looks like the Warren woman, yeah? Can't remember her name. Oh, we have something here. 
Oh, hello. Oh, oh. Holy crap. Where did my light go? Oh, we are almost blind. What's going on? I can't see shit, man. So I believe that was definitely a heartbeat. Right? Where's my flashlight? Here it is. Turn it on, please. Let's look for temperature drops. Or fluctuations. Or heating. Ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. So that's interesting. No, nope. how the ghost is. What? How the ghost is inf inflicting these things on us. What happened to my. Did you take my thermometer? Oh, is that because our sanity is getting so low? That we are now hallucinating? I don't think so. Where the F did my... Where were we when we lost that thermometer? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Weren't we around here somewhere? Yeah, we are definitely hallucinating you. Oh, here it is. Thank you. I think we are about to die. Our sanity is getting very low, I suppose, because we are running in darkness. <laughs> I'll have to find out where the fuse box is in this place. I think we're getting haunted, yeah? Yep. Holy crap. We are getting haunted. We are gonna die. And then we just transport somewhere else, you know? Or teleport. Open your eyes, please. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You're scaring me. Holy crap, you're scaring me. What the f... I wanna get out of here. I'll have to find out where that fuse box is for the next hunt, you know. This time I just wanted to experience... You know, what this was all about, so... I guess we're about to die of because our sanity is getting very low now. Is it bringing us down to our knees? I can't move. Hello? Are we sinking into the ground? Oh, it's. What? And we are dead. This game is creepy as F. And pretty different from Demonologist. Status fired. We are fired. Okay. And very different from different from Demonologist and Phasmophobia. In a pretty awesome way, I think. Like the ghost is affecting us. You know, while we are investigating. If you want to see more of this game, let me know in the comment section. 
Also, if you're new here, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.